What's up guys, this is no name 40505 here for another battle and today I have another RU battle today. I've seen like I've been doing a lot of RU, so um Yeah, deal with it because right now RU is what I'm playing. Anyways, I'm using the same team that I used in my last video, which is the team of a standard rapid spinning chirogonal, a standard Steelix and Slowking Core, a Flight Gem Archeop, standard Cosmic Power Ring Sigilif. And a skilling chinchino since that's released now. And um, this was the semifinals from a RU tourney and the phones ranking. So hopefully, um, <clears throat> this turns out to be a competitive match. At least you guys think so because it is a pretty competitive match, but it's pretty repetitive. Holy crap, phone! Watch it be like my mother or something. Yeah, that it's be really typical for interrupting my narration. Anyways, um, yeah, his team also has a chirogonal. It also. Okay, phone. So, anyways, um, he has an aerodactyl. That's gonna be actually really convenient for me that he doesn't have a bulgy on Stealth Rocker. He has a suicide lead. I'm just gonna make it easier for my chirogonal to rapid spin away. And because of phone issues, I didn't get to really do a good team preview, but whatever. So, I'm gonna lead off my Rusty Wallace. And we're both going to... No, I'm not going to set my Stealth Rock because I predicted him with the Taunt, so I go right for the Gyro Ball this turn because that's really what Aerodactyls do. And my opponent was Spark Beat from the CG Clan. It was a pretty good bat battle. He made a couple of questionable plays, but it still turned out to be a pretty close match. But anyways, I'm going to set up my Stealth Rocks, and, like I said, and I'm just going to go for another Gyro Ball to kill him off. So he's going to go out to his Legend. And looking at his team, I figured that my Steelix was my best thing to have a sleep fodder, so that's what I'm going to make my sleep fodder. So now I'm going to switch out to my Chirogonal, since Chirogonal is actually a pretty good check to Lilligent, even if they, even though they generally carry Hidden Power Fire or Hidden Power Rock, standard special bulky Chirogonal can still take those pretty well, even at plus two. And if you carry Haze, that's really awesome, because that's the Chirogonal scent made specifically to counter Lilligent. And if you have Toxic like I do, then you're going to have some problems, especially if they have the Lumberry, but most carry Leftovers or Life Orb, which I don't know why you would carry Life Orb on Lilligen. It doesn't make too much sense to me, but a lot of people do it, but like this guy did. So it kind of helps me out here. So I switch out to my Sigilif because Sigilif is also going to be completely useless to me in this battle. So I just went out to Sigilif to rack up a combination of Life Orb and Toxic damage to try and finish off that Lilligen. And now he's going to go out to his own Chirogonals. I'm going to go out to my Chirogonal. Because have I already rapid spinned away those hazards? Yeah, I think I did. So I'm just going to fire off Recover. And I just kind of went out to Chirogonal to see what he would go out to. And he went out to his own Chirogonal. And I recovered my health as well as I got a Toxic on his Chirogonal, which is very nice. If he was like Clay, that would be kind of annoying. But it would also be kind of good because he wouldn't be able to have his leftovers recovery. But... It's better for me that he does have his le the leftovers because um, he doesn't have his screens up for eight turns. That's it. Okay, so um, I got my Slow King here, and he's got his Whimsicott. I go for the Skull. He doesn't get the burn on me. And I'm just going to go for the Dragon Tail, hoping he tries to set up a Leech Seed on me. But he actually has the Giga Drain, which is a little bit unusual. But, um, you know, whatever floats your boat. So I'm going to go out to to my Chinchino, thinking that he's going to just set up a Cosmic Power, and I know that my Rock Blast will still do plenty to him, even when he's at plus one, but he's actually a Calm Mind variant, which is a little bit strange, but I've actually tried Calm Minding Sigilif before, and it worked out really well. It's not really that bulky, so it generally works better on Hyper Offense teams, but that's pretty good. So anyways, I've got my, um, Slow King here, and I'm going to switch out to my Steelix because his Lilligent is dead, so I really didn't feel like I needed it anymore, so I could just Death Fodder that off to a close combat, but he actually goes straight for the U-turn, which is fine by me, and now I switch out to my Jack Frost here, the Chirogonals, he goes to the Leech Seed on the switch, which is fine by me, but he's going to be a whimsicott and be a troll, 
I know I'm really one to speak because I've used Whimsicott before, but I've actually only used Whimsicott in Yu Yu. I've never used it in any other tier than Yu Yu. Which is completely fine by me, and holy crap, my tablet is being a bitch. So, um, yeah, I've got my Whimsicott in here. It takes two tail slaps to break the sub, which is good to know, and because I can still hit him three more times because I've got that skill link. Um, what was I saying? I know exactly how much damage it'll do, but it's all irrelevant because his Whimsicott just kills me off with the Giga Drain. I don't know if he's like an offensive Whimsicott or something, I don't know. I didn't think Whimsicott was that powerful of an attacker. Anyways, um, he goes for the sub here as I go for the Ice Beam. I think that was a kind of pointless waste of health. I think he should have just gone straight out to his Chirogonal because with Chirogonal's base special attack and it being a super effective hit, and with Whimsicott being able to do nothing back, there'd be no reason for me not to go for the Ice Beam. So I don't know what's up with that anyways, I switch out to my Slow King, because I don't want to have to sit in there for a little bit and risk being toxic by his Chirogonal. So I can just go for the Dragon Tail, but he does set up a Reflect, and the good thing about this is that he doesn't get the chance to set up a Light Screen. But I don't want this one to cut Giga Draining me, so I'm going to go out to my Chirogonal. If I were him, I would have personally gone for the Leech Seed, because there's honestly nothing that Slokin could have done to Whimsicott, and he could have gotten a Leech Seed up on me to help regain his health, but he doesn't, so that's fine by me. And um, now we're gonna he's going to switch back to his Chirogonal, as I'm just going to keep going for Ice Beam, not wanting that Whimsicott to set up any substitutes. So, um... Now I'm going to switch, I'm going to switch back to my Slow King, since outside of my own Chirogonal, which can't do anything more to his Chirogonal because it's been toxic, um, Slow King's really my best option, and he's going to switch out to Whimsicott. I'm going to go for the Scald this time, predicting the Whimsicott switch, and trying to fish for the burn on the switch, which I actually do get, which is really helpful. I mean, you don't want to bank on hacks ever, but this match could have easily been 20, not 20 turns longer, but like 15, 10 to 15 turns longer of... This little star war between my Chirogonal and my Slow King versus his Whimsicott and his Chirogonal. But it's not going to be the case because I did get the burn on him. And also my Chinchina, which died early, managed to get a couple of very nice hits on that Whimsicott to help weaken it with the tail slaps. So it was pretty weak too. And anyways, he just goes to the Mento, kills me off, and now it goes out to his Primeape as I go out to my Steelix. Again, trying to death fodder it. And now he's got his Sigilyph here as I'm going to switch out to my Chirogonal as he just goes for another Calm Mind. And, um, right here I do have my Archeops here. And it doesn't matter how many Calm Mind boosts he gets, my Archeops can just kill it anyway. So I'm pretty much just trying to Death Fodder off my Chirogonal here, which is exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm just basically going to keep spamming Ice Beam, and he's just going to keep going for the Roost trying to set up all over me and at this point he's probably thinking like oh uh, what a dumb dumb he's just letting me set up all over him but I have a whole plan for this so I'm gonna go see what was going on with the phone while this is going on so B R to the B Okay, so I got some water, and he finally killed me off, so that was actually really good timing, but, um, in other news, fuck politicians. They keep leaving me dumbass messages. So anyways, like I said, I got to my art chaps, and I can just kill him off at the stone edge. So that was, like, my entire plan there, and now I go out to my slow king, he goes for the rock slide, that's just fine by me, and now he's just gonna... Uh, excuse me, go for the U-turn and go out to his Chirogonal, but because he didn't rapid spin away my hazard, if he even ha- Does water expire or something? But, um, because he didn't do that, I can just kill him off even with the Scald, and now his Primeape, who can't kill my Slow King, is just gonna die to a Scald as well. So, um, 
I don't think he was scarfed, so my Archie probably would have been able to kill him off, but, um, like I said, it all doesn't matter because I still managed to win the battle, so that was a great game, CG Spark Beat, and, um, yeah guys, this was No Name 4505, and uh, peace.